here's the torrent you see it's listed as a no start pickup date 2 24 06 pioneer torrent black with the vin number What up, dope people? Welcome back to Easy E's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E, of course. And I just want to apologize for that last video on the cold part. Pontiac Torrent was having technical difficulties with my mic. I recently purchased a new mic, a roadie mic. And hopefully, I don't have no more audio issues. So, I'm going to make this video short and sweet since y'all didn't really could hear me. For my last video on the torrent I still let it out anyway because uh, a video is a video and I need these videos more videos the more I, the faster I can get or closer I get to getting monetized on YouTube I got the subscribers I just don't got the watch hours I need like 3,000 more watch hours so I'm gonna do a little walk around real quick of the Pineac torrent listed as a non runner was a pedal car that some to me somebody donated it from the history of this the Carfax report and the paperwork I found in the trunk. Last time this car was registered was in 2017. Last car last time I can see that it got an oil change was at 110,000 miles at a car shop which they do they would did a hundred point inspection. So within the 110 and 116,000 miles, something happened to this car. It has a brand new 2017 battery, which says more. So the battery's from 2017. Carfax said it was last registered in 2017. The last oil change was done in 2017. This car set for for for, for roughly four years. Yeah, roughly four years, three years. Cause it was at the end of 2017 probably you could say 18 so it said for like three to four years has brand new tires on it two front matching tires two rear matching tires a little rusty but you know we do we get into that body work getting all yeah doing getting that body work done so if y'all follow me on facebook instagram y'all would know notice i got a engine hoist donated to the channel just for the purpose of the torrent just in case I have to do my first motor swap pull that motor out and put another one in because we don't know what's going on there's no cooling in there but I'll show y'all the engine hoist that was donated to the channel and I will show y'all around the Pontiac torrent I'll call it the booger car Cause he got boogers on the driver's seat on both sides, like somebody's picking their nose, and just putting the boogers on the seat when they could have just rolled them up and threw them on the floor. They just put them on the seat. So I don't know if I'm beginning a parts car for this one or just trying to find a motor from LKQ or pick and pull. But um, like I said, let's go take a little walkie loo around this car while I got some good audio. You know what I mean. So y'all know the analytics. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down at the end of this video if y'all didn't like this video. But let me go show y'all the engine hoist and show y'all around the Pontiac Touring and show y'all that it don't run. And then we'll be having to get it running and see what it sounds like eventually. So I don't know. Don't mind my mess. I got project cars everywhere that I gotta get done. But there's the donated engine hoist. I had to make room for it and stick it down here in the corner. It was an old one, but it's donated to work. You see, it's all the way up. This guy getting new. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. This old. Probably get a new chain with a new hook on it. Or cut this one off. Don't know yet. We didn't know when we get to using it. Got to buy a chain for it anyway. Let's go out here to my 
unlimited cars. Here's the torrent. You see, it's listed as a no start. Pickup date 2-24-21, 06 Pioneer Torrent Black with the VIN number. Let me see that oil. I didn't see the oil chain sticker in there. The battery, like I said, the battery is from 2017. It's quite dirty up under here. Everything is rusted. It does have oil, but what I first thing I noticed was the reservoir bucket. There's no coolant whatsoever. I don't care how long the car is set. You still should have coolant in your system unless you have a bad intake gasket or blown head hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on hopefully we don't got no bad head gasket if we do then we'll try to fix it on this channel if we got a blown intake we'll try to fix it on this channel we can't fix it i'll be taking the whole motor out putting another one in because there's the oil i don't know if y'all can see that like it's over full smell like gas so something going on with this car. Like I said we got dents and dings everywhere. We got a dent here, dent here, rust there. We got rust along the bottom of the doors, on the front, on the both sides, scuff marks. A little bit more rust. Well, I don't know how you get rust up here, but a little bit more. Don't mind the car parts in the car. I'm using this car to store my other car parts from other builds. Got a little rust right there. A little bit more rust right there. I say I'm using the car to store my bumpers from the for the Malibu scuff mark here. I think it's a scuff mark on the other side. If got my other video was a little poppy, it was a hornet's nest in here. So let me remove that. We put some gas in it, even though it doesn't do anything. I can't really tell y'all on the inside because I got car parts. But she's dusty. This side pretty decent. A little rust spot there let's go check the mileage and check the sticker the seat is a little bit tore up right here so you know that's going to be replaced if we ever get it started like i said look we got boogers right there has boogers on the other side of the seat down there i don't know if y'all can see got a little mold down there whatever they was had like it was a smoker, little cigarette burns. Yeah, but yeah, I can see that. I don't want to bump the mic. Now, the next oil change was due at 6-8-2018 at 117-440. So maybe this car was being driven in 2018, but last time it was registered was in 2017. So I know it was driven in 2017. It probably made it in 2018. And something happened to it. So if y'all can see down in there, the mileage is only 116. Oh, 16. The car has no engine light. Well, it got the engine light on because you can't start it. But I don't like that light right there. The oil, check oil. I don't know. Like she doesn't do anything, y'all. She doesn't do anything. When I turn the key, nothing. So that's where we at on this car. The windows do work. All the windows work. Oh, not the wrong window. Oh, that one. Well, the one behind me worked. 
that one over there don't work. So I have to figure that one out. So I got three out of four windows working. Oh, I didn't know they had directional navigation and temperature up in there. That's kind of neat. Got stink bugs in here. But y'all see that? It was one more. Oh, they, they even took the wiper blades off. Like I said in the other video when it's all popping. So the wiper blades gone. I got more wiper blades for it just in case. So I got some oil. Drain the oil. You see what's in the oil. There's new oil, put a new filter on there. Put the wiper blades on there. go from there well now I got another project I gotta figure out oh another thing I want to tell you if I leave these brakes was locked up at the I the brakes were locked but that's not no issue it was locked on the front passenger passenger side front was locked got it so got had new brakes won't get running and uh, this driver side rear was locked up the drum and the drum the brake was stuck but that's easy to take the tire off jack it up and just beat the drum till the brakes come free and we was able to push it up the driveway like I said I got brand new Bridgestone tires in the back and brand new Cooper tires in the front so ooh, that's the 2006 Pontiac Torrent that we picked up from Copart for the low low price of four hundred dollars out in Iowa that is and I say I do apologize for the video audio issues I had in the last video of the co-part torrent part to one because it's gonna be part two showing y'all around the car since I had so much audio issues going on so y'all know the analytics if you like this video give me a thumbs up if y'all didn't give me a thumbs down because that car gonna be a pain in my butt to get her back running and see what's going on with her while she sat for all these years without anybody even getting, fixing her she don't look that bad little paint job get some of those dents and dings out but 116,000 miles I get about 3004 after it's all said and done. So, like I said, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. Please consider subscribing to this channel. Share this video on your social media if you would. And leave a comment in the comment section below. And we have merch at teespring.com. And we also take Cash App donations. There's all links in the description area below. And with all that said, I don't got nothing else. I, my mind just went blank. I had something else to say. But with all that, stay tuned and stay blessed. Peace.